Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Hudu Technical Developer. So in this video we are going to discuss about how easily we can import invoices or vendor bills through an excel sheet. Uh, so we are currently logged in in Udo version 13 community edition. So let me uh, go to the invoices and let me prepare a sheet uh, that can be imported easily. So you can use the same uh, way to import a data in uh, like in other versions also like from in Odoo 14, 15 you'd say. So let me open an excel sheet and let me add the data inside this sheet. So how we can prepare the sheet. So first of all let me open this uh, invoice and from this invoice we can add, uh, we can prepare the sheet. So we have to uh, we have to add all these fields like what we want. Um, for example, in this case, what I want customer, I want to import uh, this invoice with uh, some specific customer. Uh, you can say like delivery address, references, and etc. So what fields? Uh, so first of all, you will have to check the mandatory fields. So let me check what are the mandatory fields. So here, uh, like an um, there is no end mandatory field but uh, uh, we will import customer so customer like this and then uh, we will uh, import reference okay you can see you will have to uh, all write these fields like if you want to add the delivery address you can write the delivery address also but I don't want uh, in this case uh, invoice date and then uh, payment terms payment terms okay and company will come automatically and then we will have to go to the uh, this page here you have salesperson you can import anything you want and here we will import our uh, products so for the products what we will do we will add uh, first this may one to many field name like uh, invoice lines invoice lines and then product and the next field is uh, invoice lines uh, and then quantity so the label should be updated automatically and we will check if it it is get it updated then it is fine but still you can upload it also and then invoice lines mm, invoice lines and then price okay and then invoice lines and taxes okay so we have these fields that uh, we will import. In this field, uh, we have a one many to many fields, which is our uh, taxes, which we, which I will show you how you can import it, like multiple taxes. So here uh, we have made a spelling mistake, like it is uh, invoice, and this is fine. Okay, now let's uh, add some data. Let me go to customers. Sorry, customers, and here uh, let me add uh, any customer like uh, this one, and let me add the customer. And a reference is like uh, one, two, three, four, and invoice date is uh, let me add some date here. So, for example, uh, we want to create the invoice for tomorrow and here it is like this payment is uh, immediate payments so you can fill the data like this and then a product so there are two ways to import the product like you can pro import the product by product name and also you can uh, import the product uh, with product code so let me import other uh, product one with uh, code and one with 
name to show you. So quantities like are uh, 10 and unit price is 100 and taxes. Let me uh, check how many taxes we have in the system. So currently there is only one tax which is tax 15% and we don't have any tax. So let me add one more tax so that we can import multiple taxes. Okay. Mm. And okay. So uh, let me add first multiple lines. Like we want to add two products. And the next product is uh, I will add with product name like this one, for example. With uh, 100 quantities and 10 unit price. And let me see if taxes. Okay, so let me go to the taxes and here. Uh, it is tax 15% and um, let me duplicate this so tax name must be unique so let me create okay so let me go back and here we can see so it is archived so let me unarchive it it is tax 15% copy so let me copy this name we will hit tax 15% and text 15 percent and text 15 percent copy so here we will add two taxes and here we will add only one text like text 15 percent okay so in case of many to many field you will have to add the values just by adding the comma but these values should be in the system with the same name like you are using in the excel sheet so let me edit like uh, invoices and save it and here uh, if you want to import multiple invoices then you just need to add it like this for example like this so this is invoice one with these two lines and this is invoice two with these two lines okay and let me just change um, so like uh, you can keep the same customer and also if you want we can change the customer also so let me add uh, this customer like this and let me change the number like this one okay and uh, let's keep the product the same and let me try to import this uh, data so go to invoices uh, import load the file invoices and then uh, you will see these are uh, the available fields and if there is anything like something is red so for example if you see something uh, red uh, you will have to uh, you will have to uh, select the correct uh, feed for that one so let me click here test so here it is saying like multiple values for invoice lines uh, for different rows okay so here uh, all these fields are correct uh, this means that uh, like there is something like some uh, product with the same two names are uh, taxes with the same name so let me just so here we have the taxes with uh, the same name like uh, one is tax 15% sales and one is tax 15% purchase so let me just change the name here uh, it is purchase and save it so let me hit the test again so here you can see it is no seems uh, okay and hit import button to import the file so it has been imported so let me open it this is for the first vendor 
and two products added with two taxes also added and rest of the things have been added automatically and this is the second invoice with this in uh, uh, reference and customer and all this information added through the excel sheet so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and also uh, subscribe to our channel if uh, and one more thing that uh, if you want to get the notification of the upcoming videos please click the red uh, click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you